when you do pray for God or pray to God, make sure that the majority of your prayer is not about yourself. Make sure that you are praying for other people. Don't just pray to God about trying to get married, a home, a car, more money, and stuff like that. Now, it is okay to pray about those things, but don't pray, but don't let that be the entirety of your prayer. Make sure that you are praying for other people. Pray that they come to God. Cast out the demons from them. I pray that this makes sense. Because I know that, or I assume that, many people, they may pray for selfish things. And that is not good. That is not good at all. Pray that your mother, your father, your niece, your nephews, your cousins, your co-workers, everyone repents of their sins and come to God. So pray for that. Pray for the Christians in these Muslim countries or these other countries where Christians are being persecuted. Pray that they have enough food to eat, enough water to drink, and pray that God gives them comfort. See, these are the things that we should be praying about other than praying to God for a home and all of this other selfish stuff. Which is not wrong to pray for those things, but we have to be mindful of other people. We can't only think of our own well-being. I pray that makes sense there. We know that there are some people who are depressed. We should pray to God that they stop being depressed. Ask God to bring them happiness. If you see a need that people have, what you can do is pray to God about it. Not only on yourself. I know for myself, I pray to God for the things that I may want and need, but the majority of my prayer, especially when I pray for an hour and two hours, three hours and more, my prayer is about other people. You have to understand that we are not placed in this world for ourselves. The more you understand the more that you begin to understand that God wants us to become one, meaning get along with others and come together as one and praise God as one. When you begin to figure that out, your whole concept of things are going to change you will begin to understand God a lot better. So pray for as many people as possible. Pray that they will come to God. Pray for the persecuted Christians. Also, pray for our president and our governmental officials. Even if they are evil, yes, I know, but pray that they begin to start making the right decisions other than decisions that is going to hurt us all. 
Does that make any sense? I pray that it does. God bless.